Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at BTC. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so what we were looking for yesterday was a couple of the potentials that we could still see another move to the downside come in. One of them was looking for this as one, two, one, two, three, four, five, looking for an additional fourth and a fifth. Now, if this is the case and what we've had here is this is a five wave move into this point. What we need to be careful of is we didn't actually reach the target box area. Now, we did break this low, which would make this um, sufficient. Now, what we'd be looking for here effectively is that if this is completed in this way, we'd be looking for that possibility of a three wave move to the upside here. Now, now the key thing here is that if we fail to break back above this 31,259 to this 30,545, what we could just have here is just a three wave move to the upside where this move actually then looks to break down again for either a move down towards this one to one or alternatively a move down towards this 1.618 if we're going to get a bigger five wave move here. So I'm just being cautious of this idea of this looking to extend to the downside within this count effectively what we'd be saying is that we could potentially look towards this 26,720 as a possible target area if we do see price look to move towards the downside in a five wave move. Now, the key thing is here what we would want to see for invalidation of this um, potential of a bearish move to the downside in this way is a move up past this 31,804. So, this is what I'm looking for at the moment here. There is, however, a couple of ways of looking at this. Now, we need to be careful because if we have this as a five wave move to the downside here, like I said in the previous video, we need to be careful there isn't something more sneaky going on where this is actually an A wave, this is A, B, and C, and then we're still looking for the C wave to the upside. So, we're going to be monitoring this move now to see whether we start to get five wave structure to the upside. If we do see something like this, this could align with this being a flat correction here and then looking for that possibility of continuation down at a later point. Now this would actually be looking at either this B wave looking to play out directly or if we do see an additional move down here where in fact all we had was something like this as the three wave move and we do look to continue down lower into this 29701 to this 28934 level then possibly what we could get is that this is actually ABC and we're still within this B wave idea. So we need to be a little bit careful with this. There could be some um, liquidity plays coming up. So we need to just uh, keep an eye on this. Now, obviously within our bullish count, what we were saying is that we could be potentially looking at this as an ABC pattern here, looking for that possibility that the corrective structure could be looking to complete. Now, we have moved down past this one to one. The thing about this though is we haven't actually taken this A wave low here so it is possible that this could be completed if this was a C wave and like I said we could argue that this was um, 3545 at the end here where this is completed but we also need to just be on the lookout that this isn't something like a flat correction in here and we could still see continuation down so we need to just uh, give it a bit of space and actually see it break back above some of these key levels. So what I'd want to see first is a break back above this 30,437 for more confidence that this move is not going to extend out further. But then really until we actually break this B wave high here, we still need to be cautious of that idea that within the structure, we could still get something like this as a one, two, three, four, and a five. So I am anticipating a move to the upside here. We're going to have to see exactly how that plays out. Um, if we continue to break down, however, then we could be within the more bearish scenario. Now, we were also talking about this just being a uh, simple impulse to the downside where we were saying effectively what we could be looking for is something along these lines where we were saying we're counting at this from this high. This is one, two, three, four, five here. So what we need to be careful with this is that we could be potentially setting up for corrective structure. Same sort of idea here looking for a move to the upside where this is an A, B, and a C. So if this is something rather like a flat and we don't have this as an additional fourth and a fifth here, potentially what we could have is that this could be a fourth wave and another fifth still looks to come. Or alternatively, this becomes A, we see three waves down for B, and then we see the C wave to the upside. Now, the current target area that we'd be looking for here as a potential rejection would be between this 30,639 to this 31,300. So this is going to be key here within the same idea. Until we actually take this high, we're going to be very cautious that we don't see some kind of an extension here because potentially what we could even see is let me extend this out because if this is going to be a flat, our common rejection area here is actually this uh, 
382 to this 50 percent so it'd be between this 30,371 to this 30,639 so if we do see five waves to the upside here where we get this as a we get three waves down here and then we get five waves to the upside something like this we need to be very cautious of this idea we could still face a rejection in this zone so i'm going to be looking out for that if we do see price just move up in three waves i will be looking for that possibility of that continuation to the downside and then if we do get a five wave move to the upside here on the bigger scale here where we get something like this and we actually look to break this high we need to be careful because until this forms a corrective structure and we get this as a confirmed low by breaking back above this high we could actually see that you know we get five waves to the downside instead and actually look to re-sweep this level so going to be very cautious of this idea that you know even if we do get five waves up here we need to get that secondary confirmation by that support coming in now we're also talking about the possibility that we could have this as an a this is a b and a c so this was looking at this rather as three waves here and then saying that we have something like a flat correction here looking to play out. Now, if we are looking at this idea, effectively what we could have done is actually met this requirement. Um, the way we would have to count this then is as a five wave move into this zone. But there is a little bit of an issue doing this. So we would have to say that this wave three then actually had an extension in the fifth wave and then we had a fourth and a fifth. So it's making me less confident in the idea that this is actually completed already. But what we could see is that if this is one, two, we could be looking for something like this, where, like I said in the previous video, instead of looking at this lower target box area, which we've actually come up already towards the zone of this three, 30,181 what we could see is a push up into this higher purple target box as a five wave structure towards this 30,935 to this 30,441 level so we do have our area here which would be this 0 0.382 which would be the sorry 0 0.382 which would be this 30,613 and this 50 percent up here at this 30,837 so the key thing here really is even if we do get a five wave move to the upside, we need to see that support come in. There's a lot of options here which could call for having a five wave move up and then seeing continuation to the downside. Something like this would result in the potential subtle fear where instead of looking at this as a C wave down, what we'd have is a Y wave where this becomes an A, B and a C. Still looking for this possibility of this lower one to one here at this 28701. So going to be keeping an eye on this. This is all basically tying into the idea here that uh, what we're looking for is a bigger corrective structure looking for some of these lower targets here this 382 50 percent um, golden pocket over here and this 0.786 lower down towards this 26k so going to be watching this we are looking for this potential to see this come into this level and find support but if we start to break down too deep here we need to be very cautious because like i said you know we have a lot of different ways of counting this big choppy move at the at the upper end of this so it's going to be important how the waves actually react at these key levels if we just see five wave move up here and we reject and we lose this low this confirms a flat if we see five waves up here we find support we can look to put potentially rally up here if we do get five waves past these highs we're gonna have to see that secondary support come in and then so on and so forth so this is looking at this idea that this could be a flat correction here where we're looking for this as a c wave up now it is also possible that we could argue that if we're going to count this as a five wave move this could actually be a we get b and then we get c here now, if this is the case, well, then we'd be looking for effectively a three wave move or same idea again, 31,299 to the 30,367. It's going to be our key zone where we could get a rejection. So it's going to be important how we react in this level up here, because if we just get three waves up, potentially we could once again still see a move down towards this 28,797 level. So the way that we would be looking at this now, because we're looking at that possibility that this is completed here, what we could also argue is that we could be looking for a breakout. So we're going to go over this. We were looking for that possibility from over here, but the structure wasn't great. And even within this structure we currently have, we can also just argue this is ABC. So we need to be cautious of that fact. Um, the way that I'm looking at it currently is that if this is actually a completed five wave move here, what we could have is something along these lines where this becomes our wave one. We're looking for this wave two. We've come down already towards this 50% area, but it is still possible. We could see price look to push down deeper here. 
looking for this level of this 29,768 to this 29,747 would be our golden pocket here. So if we see something like this, ABC, possibly as long as we hold support here at this 29,512, we could see continuation to the upside here. Now, the key thing here is we could be looking for this move to either be A, B, and C, in which case what we could do is just come back up here and sweep these highs, which would be looking for this 30,453 as a potential one-to-one. -one. Alternatively, if we do see price actually look to push up higher here, what we could see is a move up towards this 30,833 as a wave three. Now, this would be based off of coming back down here one more time into this level. If we do move directly up from where we are, this does change it. It pushes it up towards us 30,981. So going to be watching how this reacts here. If we continue to hold these lows here, possibly we could start to see some upside coming in in this five wave structure. Now, the key thing is here that if we do get a five wave move in this way, where this becomes one, two, three, four, five, what's going to be important is what happens next. If we do get a retracement here, what I would want to see is effectively coming back into this level and holding support in this green box, which would be here at this 30,272 to this 29,835. That'll be our key level that we need to hold support in if we are looking at this as a continuation. And then from there, what we'd be looking for would be either another five wave move to the upside in a C wave or a alternatively a third wave to the upside looking for that breakup. Now, another way of looking at this, if we are looking at the structure slightly different is we could argue this is one, two, this is one, two here. And we're looking for this bigger third wave to the upside. Now, if this is the case, effectively 30,682 is going to be our 1.618. So what we'd want to see here is that we'd want to see this old support We'd want to see another five wave move up here towards this 30,682, fourth and a fifth, up towards this 30,882 to this 30,759, and then basically holding this previous fourth wave. So if we do get something like this and we're looking to extend directly up here, what we'd then be looking for is effectively this previous fourth wave to hold, which would align with coming back and sort of retesting these highs here before looking for this fifth wave to the upside. Now, it would be important to have good time comparison between this. Um, this wave two and this wave four so it should be fairly short if this is the case what we'd be looking for is a move up towards this 31,090 to this 30,916 so this would still align with the idea that you know if we do get this move up here what we could still have here is this could be a b c as a flat correction we could still look to break down alternatively this could become a we get b we get c something like this and this becomes one two or a b and we still look to break down what we need to see here is that if we get a five wave move like this we get a three wave move down finding support again and then we need to see how we react to the upside if this stays below this high here then possibly we could still see that continuation come down if we start to break above this we need to be careful because we could then be looking at, you know, a breakout and the start of a bigger move to the upside. But what we need to see is, like I said earlier, we need to see a five wave structure to the upside, something like this, followed by a three wave move down, still holding support above these lows and then seeing price look to react in a bigger way to the upside. We need to see some good volume and, and good um, structure developing here if we want more confidence of this actually playing out. Now, in validation of this idea of a 1212 comes by crossing this 29,680 level. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that zone if we are looking at that possibility of that continuation up. Now, we haven't invalidated the idea of a breakdown here either. You know, we were talking about that being a b and then c looking for this to play out yesterday so if we want to count this rather as one two where this is actually a b and c as a flat correction here if we do start to break down directly 28954 is going to be our target area for this as a third wave now it is also possible within here if we want to be more bearish we could argue this is one two one two here and the same idea would apply except what we would be getting is a much bigger deep a much bigger move down here because we would get an additional fourth and fifth to actually play out within this count so it's a little bit choppy at the moment we need to see some more confidence breaking above this 30,441 would be what we want to do if we want to invalidate this idea of having this bigger break to the downside but even if we do break down most of these targets are calling for around this 28,693 so we'll be watching this 382 as a possible support zone if we do see price come down into these levels so 
uh yeah we're gonna have to see exactly how the waves actually play out here but there is um potential here that for as long as we stay below this 30,441 we could see downside come in so for that bullish count we want to break back above these levels for the extremely bullish count we want to break back above these highs get three waves down and then see that continuation come into play Okay, so having a look at the daily CPR lines here, what we can see is that prices actually come up here and we have found support above these central lines. Now, these central lines are very tightly spread, which is indicating volatility. Now, if we do see price continue to hold these, possibly we could see a move towards this 30,231. We have this level here, this 30,592, 30,955 and this 31,325 as possible targets for today. So this would align with coming back in, up into that um, target box as a B wave. So we're gonna be keeping an eye on these levels if we do see price move to the upside here. If however, we start to face rejection here and we start to look to break down, possible downside targets for today is this 29,503. We have this 29,144, we have this 28777 which would align with that 382 this 28410 level as well as possible targets so we're going to be keeping an eye on these if we do see price continue to push down or up those levels could give us um, potential pivot points now if we do look to move to the upside here we do have the potential of looking to test out these central lines here on the weekly which is sitting towards this 30,435 30,642 and this 30,846 if we do see price look to move to the upside here what we could see is possible resistance come in at these levels and then we'll have to see how we react at this point if we reject off of this we could potentially come back down towards this 29,490 lower levels would actually be this 28,734 and this lower area here, this 27,574 as possible targets for this week. So what I want to see here is if we're looking for that bullish case, I want to see price get back above this level and then possibly look to actually hold this as support. Now, upside targets for this week would be this 31,396. We have this level here, this 32,546 and this 33,283 as possible upside targets for this week so we're going to be keeping an eye on those levels once again here we'll go over the monthly even though these haven't changed same ideas here is being that you know we've come back down we've retest this line again now if we continue to hold this possibly we could still see that that possibility of price moving to the upside here 33k would be our first target we have 35538 and we have this 39,620 as potential upside targets for this month. Now, if we do look to lose this higher line, we do have potential to retest the central one, which would align once again with that 382 towards this 28,895. We do also have this level down here at this 28,125. And then lower down, we have this um, target, which would align with coming back into our channel at this 26,376. So gonna have to see exactly how this, um, how this plays out from this point. If we do continue to lose these levels then it's probable we're going to start to see a move down into this lower zone here but we do have fib support um higher up here you know we do have this 382 sitting here towards this 28693 we have this 27905 which is aligning with these two lines here so we're going to be keeping an eye on that level if we do see price move down Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.